Oh, jeez, this thing is a monster. This could feed like three people or just one of me. Today we are in Seoul, South Korea, and it is all about finding food on the cheap. Eating in Korea is great, but this place can get expensive. $15 for this cheesy lobster tail, $20 for this unlucky octopus, $22 for this chicken and cheese skillet, $30 for this pig's foot, $600 for this Korean barbecue set. Is that gold? Yeah, it is gold, real gold. If you chow down as much as me, then you're always on the lookout for some cheap eats. I have a feeling there is a recent um, change in, in the price. And I'm talking cheap food that doesn't sacrifice flavor. Oh my God. It's actually really good. With some Korean innovations too. Korea elevated the corn dog to the next level. Let's get started. Try not to hold me down, feel alive. Think and break me. We're starting off the day on Cup Bop Road. Cup Bop literally means cup rice, which is one of the dishes they sell here. Kids who are basically using a ton of calories each day with their brain studying, so they need to fuel up, come down here, and for just a few bucks, they can get a huge bowl of fried tasty treats. Today, the mission is all about finding good food, but cheap. Let's go. <laughs> There are tons of these little kiosks selling cup pop, and even this place, they've got over 35 options that you could get, ranging from here, the usual cup pop for only about two and a half bucks, all the way to some fancy stuff right here. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to get. What's in cup pop jail joy? What's in Huangjie? Oh, that's why. This one's seven and a half bucks. The Huangjie cup pop. It's the King Kebab. That must have a lot of cool things in it. Hongjae Kebab, Hana Jizeo. Bam, starting with some mushroom. Put a little bit of oil on that. Yes, and then we've got the Vienna sausages here. Tons of butter on there. She chops each Vienna sausage in half. We need to create more surface area for the frying action. This is good, I'm genuinely hungry right now. Egg, protein. Oh, and she puts cheese on the egg. I knew this was worth it. That's a strong move. Coming up next, we're coming in hot with some bacon. More bacon, more bacon strips, bacon strips. This looks like real bacon. And that is why they call it Kebab folks, that is the actual cup right there. Coming in with some cowie, some scissors. We're gonna dice up that bacon a little bit. I cannot wait to see how this gets assembled. Hey, look at the cheese. You see the cheese on here? It's all melted now. That's like my new favorite way to order eggs. She's dumped a bunch of rice into the cup. It's all about the layering. She's putting on fried kimchi. It's gonna be hot, spicy, and sour in there. And then the cheese egg, bam. Eight Vienna sausages. Oh, jeez, this thing is a monster. They call it Huangjie for a reason, guys. And some tuna. <laughs> Mushrooms. You gotta like share this with a friend. Some sesame seeds getting sprayed on there. And then dried seaweed, some sesame oil, some more sesame seeds, and then corn. It never ends. This is the most gigantic bowl of food I've ever accidentally ordered. <laughs> wow. Good night style, eat a kale. It's heavy. This is a monster amount of food. I'm just gonna eat it alone, thank you. <laughs> I might have ruined the concept a little bit. I think it's good if I show you places where you could get cheap food, but then I get the expensive version of that so you get to see the range of possibility here, and that's what we've done. I mean, seven and a half bucks, it's not that cheap, but this could feed like three people or just one of me. Let's just take a look. Layers and layers of meat. I'm guessing you're supposed to mix it up a bit. First bite, check it out. Bacon, kimchi, sausage, rice. Let's go for it. Oh man, that is satisfying. It's meaty, greasy, that's awesome. Every bite can be different in here. We got rice, mushroom, kimchi. This is like a vegetarian bite, except for the bacon there. Mm. The saltiness from the kimchi mixed with the rice, it can pair with all these items so nicely. Oh, the cheese is no joke. There's a legitimate amount of cheese on here. Look at that, you can see it stretching. Cheesiness. This is like so many of the familiar flavors of Korea, all in this huge bowl that they charmingly call a cup. 100%, I recommend this. Come here, you cannot go wrong. Oof. Try another bite. I'll give love to the world. I say true to my word. We be queens and kings of everything. I could Here's get what I love about Korea. I feel like the US invented the corn dog, but Korea elevated the corn dog to the next level. Example, here. 
Sujay Hemdogu. I don't know what Sujay means. Two and a half bucks. Not bad. They have put french fries into the corn dog skin. You do not have to have two separate foods. They put them together as one. I love that. So we're gonna get this corn dog with the fries in it and try it out. Hot dog go hana All right, and here we go. Bam, right into the fryer there. Super hot, oily corn dog. Oh yeah. It is glistening like an attractive woman who has just put on beach oil at the beach. We got to bang the grease off a little bit and then we're ready to take it down to mouth town. Little ketchup directly on the dog. Oh, that's okay. A lot of ketchup. This is brilliant. He has nailed it. Fries fused into the corn dog and is topped with ketchup. Let's try a big bite of the corn dog with french fries in it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that dog. Usually I don't like a bunch of sauce on it, but this is a perfect combo. You need some of that sweet ketchup to balance the fried corn dog. Am I really doing a food review on a corn dog? I guess I am. You know what? And I'm okay with that. The french fries, you can just pick them off as you go. Guys, there's no rules here. Super crunchy, salty, sweet tomato-y ketchup. That is a winner. Love it. What you gonna do with all that cash? Gonna go, go. Stay out in an all night I'm gonna... Next up, I'm getting a few cheap eat tips from a local. Today, we are exploring all these places in Seoul with my guide here, Minju. Hi. Isok Toast is a Korean sandwich shop with some interesting variations. You may be familiar with their lauded ham series. The first thing I notice is half of these items are MVP. What does the MVP actually mean? Best player? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Guys, some of these sandwiches are the most valuable player. Uh, in fact, like five of them. And everything's pretty cheap. Like the most expensive one is still under four bucks. Yeah. The cheapest one is uh, around two. Let's get a ham special. I would like to have the pizza toast. Uh, <laughs> That's my favorite. Quick question. Uh -huh. I like that they've drawn inspiration from pizza. Uh-huh. Uh, why is there a pickle in there? Bulgogi MVP, which is the best Korean-ish one we should get. Good, I like it. Hi, I'd like to place an order. Basically, every sandwich gets a square egg put on toast that is slathered in kiwi jam. The square egg mold alone makes this place a winner. The pizza sandwich gets pickles, egg, cheese, meat, plenty of tomato sauce, and some more cheese on top of that. First of all, it's very important to note that they usually serve the whole sandwich, but we wanted to share some of these, so we cut it in half. Also, they put cabbage in there. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about the cabbage? It adds some freshness. I think let's start with the classic ham. Check it out. We're gonna show you right here. The classic ham special. Here we go. Mmm, it's so sweet. They have this special kiwi sauce. Mmm, that's like two and a half bucks right there for that sandwich. Sandwich number two, the bulgogi MVP. I mean, look at the steam coming off of there. Mmm, that's quite good. It's got this sweet, like, barbecue sauce in there. Yeah. And the cabbage actually kind of, it gets hot and it gets reduced down to a thin layer. Mmm. Finally, pizza toaster. Oh, I mean, look at that cheese shot, buddy. That yeah, is fresh mozzarella. mozzarella cheese. Have you ever seen a good food shot like that? You gotta like wrap the cheese around the other one to get <laughs> it off. Let's dig in. That is a winner. Pickle doesn't bad in there, right? Yeah. I was a little worried about having the pickle in there, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to have the full Aesop Toaster experience. It's really not classic pizza ingredients. There's just tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, but it brings on that full pizza flavor. And all that for only three and a half bucks. That's not bad. Is this still Korean food? I think it's you know, half Korean and half American. It's pizza on toast. They figured it out. Our final destination is absolutely the best value and one of the most delicious foods we've found all day. The legendary rice burger. Can you tell me what's unique about this place? You can eat the rice burger with a spoon. With a spoon? Yeah. Yeah. I think you missed the part where the burger is made of rice. That's what's really unique. <laughs> Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. I'm with David Moon, the owner of this establishment. What is your favorite rice burger? It's a ham cheese. Okay. Ham cheese pop boba. For 3,000, I have a feeling there is a recent um, change in, in the price. So we're gonna get that. Can you show me? Yes, how? I can show you. That one. Ah, cut, cut, cut. Cut. 
<laughs> hey, I call cut around here. Is that one? So we put some yeah, rice, put some rice into kind then, of this press here. Yeah, this is cheese. And the rice is yeah, mixed with kim. Know. Yeah, kim. Ham, so spice kimchi. Most of Korean people's rice kimchi and chamchi mayo, including chamchi and mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, that's and, a lot. I love it. It's so big and delicious. And then so like this. Uh huh. This. That's it. And then fast. Right this. Whoa, did you even catch that? Ding, table five. Here we have the ham cheese pop burger, but hey, do I need to smash it first? Like I'm giving CPR to it, right? Oh, I think I smashed it too much. <laughs> oh, that looks really good. You can eat this like a burger. I thought for sure it would all fall apart. So I've smashed mine, I've opened mine. Do you want to do the same? No, I'm just gonna Wait, do it with my. Whoa, 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 whoa. The sign, it says smash it. Uh, you don't have to have to do that. Are you sure? Because do you remember the sign? But we usually use spoon. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're doing the spoon method, but I'm keeping it like straight burger style. Here we go. Mmm, You know, my favorite part about it is everything. It's a great combination of all the flavors of Korea. Yeah. The kimchi's in there, mm -hmm. a little bit of processed cheese, which mm -hmm. I like. And then finally, the kind of the tuna mayo, the creaminess of that brings it all yeah. together. So it's almost like a kimbap. It's kind of like a deconstructed, reconstructed kimbap. A little bit like that. Very ricey. I like it. You can eat it fast and it is delicious and you can eat it cheap. At first I was like, well, I don't know, 3,000, that's not that cheap. That's like a, a big amount of food there though. Oh, yummy. When's the last time you went to one of these places? Yesterday. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh man, I'm so conflicted because we have so much food to review today, but I just want to eat this whole thing. Oh, I mean, take a look. It's kept its hamburger shape pretty well, I would say. I'm really impressed. So you can eat it like a burger or eat it with a spoon. But I say give the burger method a try. We also got a spicy pork rice burger, which also starts with rice, cheese, then mounds of spicy pork that's topped with rice. That's a little spicy. Mmm. Sweet, spicy. That rice is fluffy. It's great. Mmm. I gotta get more meat. It's pretty good, isn't it? I like that one. And the spicy chicken rice burger. It's a hot, spicy. Oh. But what is a cheese chicken? Dakalbi, cheese dakalbi. Ah. Made the same way, but with heaps of spicy chicken. Before you eat this, can you eat spicy food? It is because it is really spicy. Remember back when I did the spicy food challenge? Oh, oh, oh. Let's do it. <laughs> Look at this. That is some red, spicy looking chicken. I'm a little scared now. Let's try it out. Mmm. I like it. Savory, spicy chicken, tender, just salty as heck. And great if you have a, uh, an, a gluten allergy. Are you allergic to gluten? The bun is made out of rice. If you're into cheap food, check out our deep dive into a local Korean 7-Eleven, where we found treats oh, unexpected from a gas station that doesn't even have gas. You never knew existed. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Next time you are in Seoul, now you know where to get some good cheap eats. Also, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south. Right now in Hanoi, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon, you can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. Peace. Yeah. Down.